Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. My name is Bad Banana Wizard and we are playing, obviously, FTL, Faster Than Light. Um, the decision making process for that between Faster Than Light and Bastion was flip of a coin, <laughs> literally. Um, this is the first time I've ever played this game. This is like literally the first moment I've even opened it um, to play it. So. This uh, episode is going to kind of just be a tutorial of me getting used to the game, understanding the basics. Um, this will be a part zero, uh, just to let people know that it's not going to be a whole lot of talk and it's going to be a lot of understanding. So if you want to understand the game as well with me, this is where we're going to start. This is how we're going to learn it and understand it. So welcome to FTL. We are the captain of a Federation starship on a very important mission. Eh? It sounds like Star Trek already. Federation is currently being torn apart by vicious rebels. Your ship is carrying data vital to the defense of the Federation. You're traveling through dangerous sectors of the galaxy with the rebel fleet in hot pursuit. Make it to the exit beacon of each sector before the rebels can catch you. Let's see, your ship, the Kestrel, is the focus of the typical game view. Circle icon, circular icons at the bottom of the screen are your ship's primary systems. Systems use power from the reactor pinted at by the arrow at the bottom left. Thank you. These are your ship's subsystems, unlike systems. They do not require power from the reactor. Cool. Hover your, hover your mouse over any system icon to get more information about the system. Each system's corresponding room will light up. Alright, let's see here. It's a subsystem for piloting. Requires a crew member to evade... Ooh, excuse me. Evade in combat or jump. Interesting. Uh, sensor enables view of all rooms and info for enemy ships. Doors allow for remote opening and closing of doors. That sounds useful. Over here at the bottom left, we got shields. The same damage reducing shields. Yep, makes sense. Engines. Yep, that's kind of obvious. Oxygen. Eh? Oxygen's good to breathe. Med bay for healing. Weapons for pew pew. I assume. Hull meter. Uh, let's see here. Ah, yes, the big green bar. Current resources are at the top left. If your hull meter is just zero, your ship will explode. We should get going, but it looks like your engines are currently powered down. Green system boxes are powered. White are unpowered. You provide no benefit. Makes sense. Left click on the engine system icon and transfer from the reactor to. Aha! Uh -huh. That's cool. Try to keep your vital systems powered. Fully powered. Right click to depower if you want to regret power. Yeah, cool. Charge those engines, Scotty. Took damage. Oh, it's probably just for the tutorial. Hold me yours also take two damage. Okay. Crew cannot repair the ship's hull, but they can fix the engines. Select your crew members using left click, select multiple crew members of left clicking and dragon. Select some crew to continue. Let's click to everybody. Uh, right click on a room to send it there. Try sending your crew members to the engine room. To the engine room. Wait, are you going there yet or clicked it. What's going on? Right click. Left click. Click one. Right click. What's going on here? How are we doing this? Something's horribly amiss here. Uh, the doors? Click the doors? No? Hmm. Crew selected. Right click on a room to send them there. That's what I did. Ew. Maybe I gotta open the doors. Does that make sense? No? What's up with this? Why aren't they moving? What am I doing? <laughs> I'm doing something horribly obviously wrong, I am sure. Um Well no one's moving anywhere, so it seems like it's paused. Uh is there a Yes, it is. Ah, space bar. Yeah, it's right in front of me on the screen. Oh boy, that was obvious. Oh boy, fun times. Crew members automatically fix repair systems. Um, la, 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 la. Ah, <laughs> they automatically repair systems. Fight fires, fix breaches, and fight intruders in their room. Fighting low oxygen and fire will hurt the crew. Ah, nice. Not nice, but it's good to know. Assume your engines are now repaired. Uh, awesome, they're repaired. I can't speak narrative things very well today. <laughs> Notice that repaired systems automatically try to repower themselves to their last power state. 
Some systems can be manned by crew members to provide a small boost to the system. Crew members will automatically man any functioning system in their room. So load above the power bar shows the system is manned. Cool. Oh no, fire. Let's see, you could send your crew members. I'll pause it to put it out, but let's take advantage of your airlock. Open one of the airlock doors by left clicking on it. Ooh, cool. Nope, 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 not, not, not right click. Left click, it said. Left click. Open doors allows you to drain sections of your ship of oxygen and put out fires. You must turn pink as the oxygen drains out. Your oxygen system will slowly refill once your ship once bad. Your oxygen systems will slowly refill your ship once leaks are gone. Now let's close that. Let's open that. Let's see what it does. Yeah, oxygen. Click that door. Give it some air. All right. Now that your engines are fixed and the fires are out, we should. FTL jump to the next location. I don't know why that took me a while to say. <laughs> kind of blew my mind. I was like, uh, jumping requires a crew member in the piloting system. I assume that's the piloting system up front. Yeah, what other stuff can you do? Let's go and send some people in random places to the oxygen area. Who doesn't look like he can do much in there? Let's take him to the weapons room there. Let's see, each jump consumes a fuel. Without fuel, you'll be stranded and unable to jump. Click on the jump button to continue. This is the beacon map. A ship marks your current location. Uh, that one's circling around there, yeah. Hover your mouse over the location to get more information about it. Left click on a connecting node. Traveler now. Unvisited, unvisited, unvisited. Let me guess, unvisited, and uh, unvisited, and let me guess, unvisited. So, let's uh, go to one random unvisited section. A new location will have an event like this. You might have multiple choices available to you at an event. Some groovy music going now. Oh yeah. Nice 8-bit style. Well, it's more like 16-bit, not really 8-bit. It's not that old. In the example, a weak pirate ship is trying to destroy you. I sound a little bit like Carol Channing. It's awkward. Um, let's see. Special blue choices like these are unlocked by having certain upgrades or equipment. They're nearly always a good choice. I click it. From combat. Okay. Can you spacebar or middle mouse to pause the game? Oh, cool. Middle mouse. Nope. Oh, didn't finish reading it. Oh, well. You need to power your weapons to fight. The amount of power required is pictured in the weapon box marked below. One box. Oh, cool. Whew. Excuse me. Ah. Wow. Left click on it. Power it. Cool. Left click on a weapon. Arm it. Then target a room in the enemy ship by left clicking on it. You can also use the hotkeys one to four to access your weapons. So weapons will fire when ready. Make sure the game is unpaused. Okay, so we'll do a laser. Let's, uh, what would be a good choice to do? Take out its oxygen, take out its engine. I assume the one on the right was. Uh, weapons in the middle right. Uh, Whatever that one is. And that one. Yeah, what is that one? Circle with the S. Was um, come down here and find out. Shields. Ah, cool. So I took out the shields room. They'd take down the shields, but I have to get through the shields, so that's kind of pointless, I'd think. Um, let's just uh, take out the room with the guy. See what that does. And a little weapon pops up. Oop, they shot at me. There goes some shields. Shields came back. Pew pew. Yeah, neat. No, your two shot laser cannot penetrate pirates level two shields, but luckily he can't get through your shields either. Your two power bars in your shield system nets you one more shield. Okay. You've been given a missile launcher now. Shooting it expends your missile reserve, but missiles pierce through all enemy shields. Use a missile to damage enemy shield systems and your lasers can get through as well. Okay. I guess we take a power and use it to charge that one. Might as well take the power away from the laser because it's pointless. Well, no, actually, we could probably use it eventually once this thing punches through missile power. Shoot that pilot. These enemy systems are damaged or destroyed. Their icons turn orange or red, respectively. Okay, now shoot at him again since he's got a fire, I think. Let's see. Usually attacking or destroying systems will do no additional damage to the system. It will still damage the enemy's hull. We'll just set hull to zero and it will explode. Okay, so... Looks like he repaired whatever was going on there, so I'll send it down there again. It's hitting him because there's 
I guess the fire or the fact that he got hit by a missile. Hmm. Watch the missile again. Kills him. No one's in there. Blow apart. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Get some scrap and a weapon. Weapons or drones are added to your cargo if there's no more room in the respective system. I've click on ship info screen so we can equip your new weapon. So your equipment screen. <laughs> See more detailed information about your weapons, drones, or argument arguments by mousing over them. Click and drag a new halberd beam to replace your current weapon. Cool. Wow, that's a lot of info. Hmm. It's pretty basic though, it makes sense. Required power is three times the power, charge time is six seconds more, damage per room hit two. This one's got shield pierce. Oh, that's the rocket, never mind. Uh required power one, charge time ten. Requires three, it's longer, two shots per charge. That one just does two per room, that one does one, it's got low. Fire chance, this one's got a low breach chance. I'll just do that one. That sounds cool. So your weapon system max power 2 is not upgraded enough to support your new weapon power. Let's just see so if you can fix this. This is your upgrade screen. You can see detailed info about your system and upgrade them by spending scrap. You can also upgrade your reactor at the bottom of the menu, which is important for keeping everything fully powered. Click on your weapon system to upgrade and click accept. Yeah, okay. It's a little gear looking symbol at the top next to the hull. Tells me how much I've got. Yeah, there we go. It takes 25 from it. Okay. So now I have three, so I should be good. Now powering a new weapon. You might need to power down your other weapons in order to have enough power. Yes, right click it, left click it. There we go. You can rearrange your weapons in the weapon system tool by, by clicking and dragging. Ooh, cool. That makes that easy. If your weapon system is damaged, this order determines the order they are depowered right to left. Okay, so if... Okay, if the weapon system is damaged, the ones on the right will get depowered. And then, uh, yeah, okay, that's cool. So for the basics, good luck out there. Oh, really? That was it? Alright. Simple enough tutorial. Alright then. Let's go on into part one and begin our wonderful journey across whatever unknown nebula and space e areas there are with Faster Than Light. Thank you for watching. My name is Bad Banana Wizard. I'll see you next time.